G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Shawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we're back in our millionaire challenge to get a million dollar dues as quickly as we can. And we're coming into day 12, it is raining and pouring, it is raining cats and dogs on my roof outside, thunder clapping and all, and I'm hunkered down all snug as a bug in a rug in my little attic over here, but... That is coming to a close because despite it being heckin' bloody early and the world being pretty foreboding and giving me some pretty clear-cut signs that I definitely should go back to bed, have a cup of coffee and just nope out of today, there are things I gotta do. Namely, I have to drive all the way to the north to go and see the other traded potato. Make sure you're nice and refilled. That was all of the gas I have on me. I've got all my sellables. I did only manage to fill up my boots and my sledgehammer with mods. Even had to grab one of my um, armor plating mods out of my actual armor. Oh, Jesus, get real flashy out here uh, to fill it up. But it'll make me an extra couple of hundred dollar reduce, which is definitely worthwhile for me. And with all that explained, it's time to get cracking. I'll have to stop by my concrete plant over there and see how much concrete has been made for me on the way back. I made as much as I could, although I do have a bunch more cement powder at home now. Um, so that I probably should go get that and put that on the craft as well. I just think I'm lacking in sand and stones, actually. Lacking in both of those. Weirdly, cement is not my limiting factor. It's all the easy to get gubs that goes along with it that I don't have access to right now. God, the world is real angry at me today. It does not want me out and about and inside it. It's, um, yeah, no, nope, this is just a little bit too wet for my liking. I'm getting drenched to the bone. I'm going to quickly just pop off over here because I do have money on me and there's a sneaky vendor over here waiting for me. Ooh, with some good shit. I can get a couple of sugar butts. Don't mind if I do, but I am here pretty bloody early. I'll keep you on there. I'll store you into that one. You can have that one too. All this is all my sellables. Um, well, I've got like, got like two hours to kill. Maybe I can go find somewhere that's worth like a cheeky deeky espresso raid. Not sure where, but I'll have to find somewhere. Like a remnant or something. Maybe just do a bit more exploring of the town. I wasn't expecting to get here so quickly. Turns out motorcycle is <laughs> a bit of a speedy boy. Here we go. This place will do nicely. Just something small, something easy, and something out of the way. You can hold on to all of that for me. So I know I have to come back and just grab it again and we'll be good to go. Knock, knock. Chels, how you doing? Don't mind me, love. Just gonna come in and steal all your possessions, you and your boyfriends. Nice. Okay, easy bloody peasy. Couple of neighbors getting a little bit squeamish about all the goop and guts and gore that's happening over here, but that's fine with me. I mean, listen, if you saw a mirror, you'd be just as horrified. I think every time I come here, I come in the wrong way. Someone's trying a little bit outside. I think you're supposed to come in the back door over here, but I just beat my way through the front door and said, ooh. You're bringing the party. Oh, there's a couple of his outside as well. Let me just quickly uh, warm myself up and evaporate some of the water that's drenching all of my clothes using your body as fuel. Kind of like, there you go. There you go. Hit you in the knob and gave you a tingly feeling. That's yes, good, good, good. All right. Nice. Yeah, I always feel like I come in the wrong way. I think there's someone hanging out the back here. Yeah, there you are. This is definitely the way you're supposed to get into this place instead. I'm just a clown. Got some coffee seeds. I'm not leaving without my all-important server box. Need those big M's and sausage rolls. Give me you. Oh, that's a good bit of squish. That's an all syrup squishy. I'm going to take a slurp of that. My goggles going to pop off me face. And I'm going to see through time. Read that bad boy. Give me that wheel. That is a very, very valuable sausage roll. Nice. Okay. And with that, it is now time for Trader Potato to open too. So we've made good use of our time. Pat on the back for you. Well done, me. Good. Okay. So with the chemistry station, I know there was one working. I think it was... I think it was at Bob's down, down the road. I think he had the working chem, but doesn't matter now. I can make my own one. Oh, that's a good get. Run inside, check your Vendo for some more sugar butts. That's good for me. Thank you very much. And not much else. Although it did just kind of occur to me. I'd put all my gubs into my sledgehammer thinking that was going to give me the best return on investment. But I actually think, because the tier 4 shove... Hang on a second. Hang on a second. What are you worth by yourselves? You're worth 288. You're worth almost double. Modify that one. In you go. And in you go. That's definitely the better way to do it. Almost wasted some money, but we figured it out in the end. XP gogs on, because you're going to give me a reward. 
Ooh, it's got to be the pocket mod. Extra carry capacity is always king. So give me that one. Got any other jobs for me? T2 fetch and clue just down the road. And then another one down in my hometown. Okay, give me that one. I'll do that nice and bloody quickly. Don't you bloody worry about it. But also, uh, real quick, let's eat that one. Nom, nom, nom. Thank you very much. It's actually not to accidentally sell my bloody pocket. There you go. In like that. And now I'm free to sell all of this banana pancake batter. That one. Ooh, handgun parts. And, uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I was going to keep the handgun parts, but we're okay. So all of this makes some serious bank. Look at that. Look at the numbers ticking up. We're getting some coin today. Oh, it's good. It feels good to actually be achieving the things I set out to do. All the way up to the top. Extra 10 grand. Got 31,000 dollar dues. That's a snag. Oh, would you look at that? The game tried to dick me. It sent a dog horde after me. Fortunately, I was in Trepidati, so I'm nice and safe. So you guys can just hang out down there and think about what, what decisions led to this predicament you're in. Uh, what can you offer me? What do I want from you? I mean, are you, you do have a generator bank. It's still well early for you to be considering running electricity, so that's less tempting than you think it, thought it might be. You fucking what? How the shit are you in here? Okay, wait for you to stick your jaw through. Just like that. That works for me. Bonk ya, kill ya, get rid of ya. How the shit are you inside? Trady, fix your bloody walls. Uh, what else is in here? I don't think much. All right, well, we'll check your secret stash. I got my gogs on. So this is the super secret stash. You have another pocket mod. Absolutely. It's only 200 bucks and definitely worthwhile for some extra carrying capacity. Never going to say no to that. You've got a worse AK. You've got Battle Up Volume 3. Power Attack, Slow Enemies. And I am you. Mm, I mean, ooh. Ooh. You know what? You've got to spend money to make money. So I'll take you and I will take the chassis schematic as well. What else do you have for me? Anything fun in here? You got another journal that I've written, Tech Junkie Volume 5. Stun Repulse of the Stun Buttons. Worthless. Bloody worthless. Am I ever going to use that? Well, the like one thing I do want to check before I completely write that off. If I um go to the fucking like, max level Tech Junkie, it's just bolt craft. Ooh, but that, I can sell that for money. Okay, I might have to buy that book just for future Josh to make things easier. I don't like it. I don't want it, but I'm investing in it anyway. Think we're all good there. I can hold off buying the more expensive stuff until I have uh, some awesome sauce and stuff so I can actually get a better discount. So that's fine for me for the moment. Let's flip the glasses over and check your other secret stash. Volume 6, bows go 20% slower. Less tempting, not uh, really rocking my jocks. Got lots of mods. Mm. Oh, needle and thread. It's I mean, who am I getting excited about that for? It's a book I haven't read, which gets me tingly, but then it's needle and thread, so it's worthless. Nothing in there either. All right. Oh, my apologies. Yeah, you better apologize. Have something better next time. I'm out here killing the zombies that get inside your compound, and you're giving me nothing for it. I'll just dump the rest of this into you. That's all my money. Oh, I've got to sell. Oh, I've got to sell you. Is there anything else in here I can sell? Uh, I'll sell the oil as well. It's worth a little bit, but may as well get you sort of quickly run back inside and real quick just get rid of the steroids. I found it in that garage. I was like, ah, I can just sell this and I completely forgot about it. <laughs> I know it was just here. Calm down. Take all of those. Take that one as well. Nice. Okay. So the quest we're going to do is just down the road. So this is what I mean. This is what Bob needs to learn. If, I, if you have a zombie slaying machine at your disposal... Get him to clear out the buildings in the next bar, uh, or next door to your compound. Put yourself first occasionally. Don't say we just like, fix up some other towns. Let's fix our town first. Nice spooky looking house too. Let's start you. Let's get cracker lacking on it. Grab that chair to quickly scrap you for some more iron. Um, I think this is the one. Like I think at the very tippy top, there's all the burn zombies hanging out in like the attic. But I think for the most part down the bottom, it's relatively quiet. I'll grab you, just some extra water. I'll turn my headlight on. No use going super stealthy, boys, about this. Let's get in, charge through, and murder who we can. There's still a fair bit more I want to do today. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there's someone in here. Sit you down so I can grab that weapons bag. Don't mind me. Thank you. <laughs> gone full emu spec and shoved his head into the wall so we can't see me coming. Loot gogs on, weapons bag open, and dick all inside. 
God, they're really letting me down on those, aren't they? Cheeky bookshelves, always a good time. Make sure my loot and specs are on. Yeah, see, I could sell that for $210 redos, but I'll rather use you with my new uh, theory of reading... Ooh, actually, that's gonna be helpful later on too. Of reading the schematics that I can make easily to increase... I like, make all the mods that I need. I can shove them into whatever items I have and increase their value. Learn how to cast steel arrows and bolts. Potentially useful. I'll read that one too. Throw that away. All right, nice. I've already got whatever was in here, didn't I? I Yes, I did. All right, nice. Upstairs we go. I am going quickly because I do want to do some other stuff. There's the other quest I want to do down south again. Plus, I have to go see other trading. Quickly open you. Don't mind me, Nance. We are going Express Nitro Raid. It's been a little while since, but we're making good time. You are shitting me. It's given me a second needle in thread volume seven to craft a double pocket mods. Can I craft quad pocket mods now then? But I've got to read that twice. Surely I can get double the knowledge of double the pockets. How oh, a boy can wish. A boy can- Ow, you! God damn bastard. I thought for a second we'd close in the loo. Holy shit, was a, a bear attacking me from somewhere? That scared the freaking nipples off. There's slices of salami floating in the atmosphere now. That's how hard I bloody clenched. Oh, man. That was um rather unfortunate. Would not recommend at all. Just having a little like personal time with the toilet. You snuck up behind me, you bastard. Here we go. Let's just sneak into the Bernie Boy attic. I can just see the tip of your skull. So like... Some poor Arlene is walking around out there and just caught an arrow through the back of the head out of bloody nowhere. Can I please hit you? Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Alright, fine. I'll play by your rules then, game. Although you still haven't seen me, so we'll just go like that. Wasted a bunch of arrows firing out the window. Why do you always think Trader Joel? Sorry, bud. Well, that's what you get for giving me a good deal before. Should have done better business. Will that work? I don't know. Nope. It was a good shot, but not going to happen. Collisions won't let it. Can I like go like this? Oh, for goodness sake. Hit the bloody Muppet. I don't know how that works. I would have thought you'd be on fire already, but sure. Man, I'm just not having a good day today. Old mate's dead, so we've cleared the building. Now it's just me and all the loot for me to ransack. Nothing in you. Another, like, um, impact bracelet mod, though, so potentially useful later on. I'll take the honey and I'll take the coffee. And the first aid kit, that's pretty good. And last but not least, you know what? Stu get stuffed, get stuffed. I don't need the freaking tier six anchor, uh, um, knuckle wraps. There's gonna take up space and a repair kit that I just don't wanna have to waste on that one. Nice, okay, job done. Let's go back and jump on the bike and go back and see Trader Joel. Try and explain why there was some random arrows flying near him, but listen, we just <laughs> deny everything. He'll never know it was us. Apparently there's archer zombies now. Don't tell him otherwise. Are you sh- Oh, fuck. Are you shitting me? There was one hiding in his compound? How many freaking zombie dogs are out here? Suddenly, I miss Bonnie Darkness Falls when the guards- or the, the trainers actually had some guards. Because at the moment, Joel is doing a pretty terrible job of keeping his own gubs in his pouch. But you gotta do something about this. You really bloody do. Your base is like Swiss cheese for dogs. Ah, uh, nerdy glasses on though for extra XP. Quickly talk to you. A better pistol or a stack of pipe bombs. It's got to be a better pistol, right? Surely. That seems like the, the no brainer. Give me. Ooh, that's northeast. Buried supplies. Let's do the what one back in my hometown so and go back and see my other tradie friend. Go like this. Modify you. Quickly just swap you over. Better pistol, better days, better murder. Ah, no extra mod slots though. The rain has just not stopped this whole time. I am soggier than a gooch on a hot summer's day. This is uh, <laughs> getting a little old now. You know, I'd like this to be dry and warm. It's just ticked over past midday, so hopefully the sun comes out at some point today. I haven't seen the sun in like four bloody days. I don't feel like I'm asking for much on that one. Okay. <laughs> I won't ask any questions and tell me no lies, but I will rifle through your pockets. Scrap you, take the water. Not much in it, but it's probably fair enough. Sometimes god bags have amazing things, other times there's nothing. Just the luck of the draw. Oh, that's convenient. The POI I have to raid for trading is next door to my concrete plant, so I was coming here anyway. Don't mind me, just gonna run and quickly check how we're looking. 
Yes, good. Nice. All right, I need to go back home and drop all this shit off anyway. Plus, get, like, the rest of my concrete making materials. I'm coming back here anyway. I'll go home, get the rest of my cement powder, plus some stones and the sand, whatever else I have. I need to see, uh, Trady Bob, just to see if he has any quests nearby that need doing as well. I haven't done a job for him in a hot minute. We're doing all right, though. I feel so much better about this now that I have my horde base all set up and ready to go. Super simple, super easy, and finding Sammy the Sledge that early was a real boon for me. I just want a better one now. I want a couple of Sammies, because what I want to do, I want to have two Sammies on the jumps, and then I want to have two ro uh, a terror the turrets, uh, robotic turrets, up on the balcony where the couch is looking down, so that when one of the Sammies breaks, one of the other turrets will automatically click on and defend me while I pick up Sammy, repair him, put him back down again. So there's always like some sort of fire happening, some sort of offense is going on at all times. That's kind of what I want it to be. I'll take all of you, uh, quickly run inside and get a job off, yeah? I know you saw me yesterday because I took all the shit out of your safe, but don't let that bother you. Give me you. Give me the health bar as well. Nice. Bud, what you got for me? So you're sending me 18 years away again. Why do you do this to me? So he's given me a tier two fetch. Oh, it's at the mausoleum at the cemetery that has like the whole like underground area. Pretty good raid, actually. Don't mind having a little trip through them. That'll be alright with me. Let's quickly duck on back upstairs and, yeah, I know, drop all this shit off. How much money do I have with them, by the way? I feel like I have a fair bit. 31,000? Fuck, we're doing alright these days. Uh, let's get around. So we're, what, <laughs> a point, point three of a percent on our way there? I don't know, not very far at all. But at least we're getting some progress. All right, there's not especially a whole lot of point going over and trying to make some more concrete because I have, like, a thousand sand, but I've only got a hundred stone. Which is not all that many. That's a little disappointing. Uh, well, I'll take... So I need, I'm gonna need like, I'm gonna, oh geez, I need like 3,000 stone to get that done. I might just leave that there for the moment then, and just go and focus on these quests. Oh! I mean, it's still overcast as shit, but at least it's not raining anymore. That's a nice welcome change. The ground is no longer one gigantic puddle. It was raining so much, I was starting to consider how much wood it would take to build myself an ark. It was getting pretty dry there for a second, but now it's a little bit dry. Um, I can go do this quest and then probably do the, the quest at the cemetery as well. Pump them both out nice and quickly. I just want to find some better loot. I always want better loot everywhere I go. In fact, I might even take the eye candy with me this time. Although I think the eye candy only gives me, what, like plus 10, I think it is to the loot. Oh, this it's not that much. Charging through the undergrowth before I do the quest. Looking for some eggs. I found two so far. Just one at a time. Not finding any good bundles. There's another one there. Any more? Any more nests around? Yes, please. I would like a couple more spherical uh, white things before they turn into big, long, purple aubergines. Nah. Okay. Okay. We're fine. Well, have I done this one? Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, you can hold on to that for me. I'll take the eye candy. I'll take the eye candy this time. Who knows what I might find when I get up there. If there's a decent loot room, I'll definitely pop a bit. Nice and easy. Just reset the house and check the garage first. Bit of concrete in here. I'll grab you. Thank you. Loot and gogs are on. Not much. Uh, I think this one has like... Yeah, okay. It's got something in the rafters. Not much in here. Just a cheeky little shamway box, which... What I was going to say is always a disappointment, but the last time... Oh, fuck. The last time I raided the shadow box, it gave me something good. Blueberry... Oh, a little bit peckish, actually. All right, don't mind if I do. Got some fluids on me as well. Get all that into me. Get myself nice and maxed on my stats, so I'm ready to raid. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, well, if you would make your way outside, please. I have a brand new pistol I would like to test out on you. Or you can stick your snoot through a door, I suppose. Whatever works for you. Who am I to judge? Can I just, like... Can I time this well? Wait for it. Close. Wait for it again. There. Damn it. Come on. Just reach on through so I can boot the snoots. Oh, God. All right. Never mind. Never mind. You sent your friends. Clever bloody girl like a fucking velociraptor. You knew I was distracted, so you sent your buddy over to do your dirty work. Put a couple of rounds through your rib cage, then. God, I hate dogs. I hate dogs so much in this game. They always terrify me. Oh, that is some real spicy potatoes right there. Steak and spuds. 
a staple a staple of most of my seven days playthroughs that's usually what i'm going for because it's just so easy to make like what does it actually need again it needs steak and spuds spuds mushies animal fat and raw meat easy as yeah. so you just plant like a whole bunch of corn a whole bunch of uh potatoes and mushrooms as well but i have mushroom spores i have potato seeds i have some corn seeds so i can really start a farm at some point soon and give myself a good crack of being well nourished for a good long while it's just the recipes that let me down and finding it early like you know what R uncock that one and just bonk the noggers down instead finding a recipe early on just makes me happy couple of lasses Owls, always a pleasure. Nance, equally a pleasure. Blew your mind and... Ooh, didn't blow yours. Apparently Arlene's easier to please, but Bonds and mate got to level up. Holy shit, I've got three skill points to spend? I have not been paying attention to my, um... <laughs> what do you call it? To my skill points. Does that mean, though, I could potentially get... Ooh, okay. No, because I, I think level seven... I think it's going to cost me two skill, like all three skill points to get to level seven, even with my goggles on. I think the next one cost me two. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it bloody does too. Okay, well, here's what I'll do. I'll spend this point on Daring Adventurer because it means I can get some better rewards. I'm locking that in. But I do need to spend that next skill point to get my secret loot again because now that I've gone up an extra level, taking my goggles off won't change that. So I need... Oh, God. I need two more skill points. I need two more levels. But we're rocking and rolling. We're getting some levels up in the intellect tree. It feels weird to say that, but I mean, at least we're succeeding, even though it feels wrong. Good couple of landmines over there. It's always kind of curious to me that they have landmines lining, like, holes in the floor. I'm not sure why they do that, but this is the way a lot of the POIs are built. So, oh, God. Nance, Nance, calm your farm. <laughs> Go and cool off a little bit. Just try and relax just a bit. Douse your passion just that little bit more. Anything behind you? Another bit of food. There's a lot of food piles in this POI as well. We're doing okay though. That's a clean kill. I, If you ever have a bow and arrow in a game and you don't let me see where the arrow hits, like have persistent arrow strikes, you're letting everybody down. It's an essential part of every every game that has bows in it. See if I can real quick just pop open that. I can, but is someone waiting for me inside? Oh, that's a tough pill, but I like my odds. Just like them. Nice carry. Right through the slot. Bolting through the front door. Look at that. Look at that. Just cuddling in the closet. You know what? I won't interrupt. Just let me come in real quick. Grab some of the gums that's left behind. Some extra gunpowder. Nothing else. If I could close the door again, I would and leave you two in privacy. Nothing there. Nice tall ceilings. I don't know. I like this house. I like this POI. Can I move in? I'd have this place. It's nice. I'm not sure how much more of this POI is left. I probably should stop looting everything before I've used the loot candy, but I don't want to use it too early and then run out of time uh, on the candy before I actually get to the main loot room. So it's always kind of a, a hard thing to judge, especially in a POI I'm unfamiliar with. Ooh, Urban Color Volume 7. 5% less damage indoors and 10% more damage. Use you. Thank you very much. Always happy getting an actually useful book. Those passive skills are super valuable and I really enjoy having them. Although I think we're down to the last room now. Oh, don't. I guess we're down to the bottom again. Is that like the easy the easy way out laced with landmines? Yeah, nah, cool. Good to see you looking out for me, game. G'day, bud. How you doing? Just completely miss it. Oh, shit. Nope, that's the wrong button. Fuck. Oh, I went the wrong way. This is not the way I wanted to go. Um, okay. Well, that changes things a little bit. I might have to just... Where the shit are you going, buddy? Might have to quickly just um, reevaluate some of my things and get back up there again. Oh my fucking god! It's raining zombies, not hallelujah. Can you all just calm your freaking farm, please? Ow! How are you still alive? With a couple of cheeky frames, we're back up to where we need to be. That was um, not great. That was not. Ooh, <laughs> hey, how you doing? That was uh, not my best effort, that is for damn sure. Uh, I'll leave all the list to be looted because I think, yeah, here we go. We're into the main loot room. The whole reason I brought the loot and candy is just here. But to make sure I'm getting everything, let's quickly try and pick you open as well. And start crossing me digits. 
Oh, actually, I'll probably go and drop some shit off in the bike before I do the raiding because I'm pretty low on inventory space right now. Yeah, I don't have much, although it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Cuts like five seconds from now when it's definitely not fine, but also in the safe. Love it. I think we're all good to go. Freed up a lot of space, actually. It's like turning all my wood into frames and whatnot. So use you. Loot and candy in. And I've got my loot and specs on. So let's see what the gods have given us. Oh, ha, ha. Oh, every ripple, every nook and cranny of all of me nutsack just shriveled with the lights. Oh, yes. Triple storage Pokemon. It's already paid off. It's already fucking paid off. Two seconds in. Shotgun parts. Yes, fucking please. Robotics parts. Yes, please. I can sell that piece of shit. Oh, lovely, bloody, dovely. Lovely, bloody, fucking dovely. Oh, that's so good. I'm so happy with that. Burst mod, steel club parts. Interesting. We're finding some good shit. And some repair kits. Apparently, loot and candy is the fucking tits. What's in you? Uh, don't need that one, but I'll take you. Last but not least, the gun store box. A fucking hunting rifle. More repair kits. Turns out I didn't have enough space. Uh, right. Well, I... You can piss off, and you can piss off to make room for everything else. That is spectacular. What a start. I'm not even bloody done yet. I've done most of the kitchen and not found a whole lot of good stuff. That's just got to pick dye on it, so we're fine. Last cabinet, I think. Sure. All right. Wall safe. What have you got for me? Serrated blade board, rifle parts, and scrap. I can't scrap you because I've got no room in the queue. All right, hang on to... Ugh. God damn it, because I'm scrapping a bloody candlestick again. Always takes so much bloody time. Uh, I can't really get rid of anything else here, though. Uh, okay, I don't need you. You can piss off. I'll take that one instead. Uh, I don't need... What's taking up space I don't need to worry about? You. You can piss off as well. Go to that one. And as soon as I can, I'll scrap these two. Come on, hurry up. How much time is left in this thing? 15 seconds? Oh, go fast. I'm so impatient. Nice. Finally got the brass so I can scrap that one and we're all good and done. It's relatively late at night. I mean, it's actually very late at night. I should probably <laughs> downplay that at all. I don't know if I have... Wait, what do you my inventory is for? I'm trying to pick up frames that I have on my hand down here. How do you have a problem with that? You, you Fuck it. It's two frames. Who cares? Let's get down here and get out of the building again. Go fill up the bike with goodness. Uh, return to the trader. That's fine. I'm... Oh, my God. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to try. Fuck. Oh, fuck. No. No. I'm going to try not to die. First and foremost, get on the bike and just fucking get out of here. Holy sh... There's a fucking bear here as well? What the fuck, game? Are you shitting me? Are you shitting on someone's toast and force fucking feeding it? Oh, my God. That was awful. That was awful. All right, real quick. Honey goes in to save off the infections that I just got. Oh, you bastard. The game's taking a piss. The game is hanging out in the clouds and fucking giving me a golden shower. It rained on me before and it just got way more serious. Um, I need a first aid bandage. Do I have any in here? I thought I had some in the back at home. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck a loo. All right, well, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't risk it then. If I just got messed up by a freaking bear hanging outside the house. Oh, man. Oh, man. And then, to make matters worse, because of the way that this game fucking thinks about the grass, it always puts the grass above everything else. So I'm standing there fucking teabagging my motorcycle, desperately hitting E to try and get into it. It's like, hey, do you want to pick up the grass? You're pressing E on grass, right? Not the fucking giant motorcycle hanging out just six inches below it. No. I hate that it gives precedence to the, gra the grass blocks all the time. Because that sucks. You know what? We're, we're just not going to do it. I drove here, but I've just, I don't have, I don't have the gusto anymore. All of my confidence has been shattered by getting my ass cheeks eaten by a couple of dogs and then coming face to face with a berry boy. Nah, I need to go and, I need to go and lick my wounds. I'm going to find myself a first aid bandage to sort out my, um, my abrasion. That was awful. That was awful. Fuck all of you. Hanging outside my house like a camping little bitch. Go play Call of Duty with a shotgun and hang out in a shadowy corner of a room no one goes in. You bastard. Oh, man. Anyway, we'll go home. We'll slap on some bandos and try to keep all of my guts inside my body. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I can't do it. If I wasn't hurt, I could probably push through it. But I think at some point I have to quit while I'm ahead and accept the fact I got out of that reasonably well for 
everything that was going on because that could have been so much worse. I almost lost you. I almost lost you by $31,000 redos. So like if I die, I've told this before, but I'll just clarify. If I die in this, it's not permadeath. Uh, but if I die, I lose all of my money. And that doesn't mean like, you know, if it's in the safe, then it's safe. And I don't lose it. All of my, all of my dollars get lost if I die. I have to throw them away, go bury them in a grave somewhere and weep over my commiserations. But that's kind of the deal. So I almost lost everything in there and I would have been very unhappy if I had of. Sick tits, bud. Do not care, though. How much are you worth? $500 redos for a blundy boy. I mean, it's a tier 6 and fully repaired, so fair enough. You can have that one. Uh, weapons and ammo can go into there, like that. Got some pretty good gubs out of that. I mean, yeah, I almost paid for it, but I feel like we came out the other side pretty all right. Grab my... Just one of these, please. Well, I am not looking good on the old first aid bandage front. I am lacking them pretty considerably, but it is going to heal my abrasion for me. 28 minutes and then I can also go use one of you that's why I bloody have them down to 14 minutes so by the time like we get to, like 10 a.m tomorrow we should be pretty fine there I'll take you and you and you because I was just kind of thinking I was looking at this wall here and I want to start growing my own crops there's not a lot of good spaces for me to do that but there is something drastic something important to me missing from my house right here and just by saying that, a bunch of you already know what the hell I'm talking about. And that is that I don't have... Oh, it does go straight outside. I was hoping it would. And with a decent view as well. I don't have a balcony up here. I don't have one. And that is sacrilegious to me. Unacceptable in every way, shape, and form. So I need to... Give me the wood plates. I want you to go on the top layer. So we'll go with advanced rotation. Stick your... Yep, right about there. Oh, I'm gonna have to get rid of that actually first. Hang on, gotta get rid of this stupid window sill down here. I know this is like the way I come in and this might make me more visible to zombies, but it's worth it. Always gotta have the balcony. If you don't have a balcony, where do you drink your coughs and froths? It's essential building. I don't wanna make this too big because it will crumble if I try and push it too far. In fact, I need to make farm plots. Nitro powder, rotten flesh, and wood. I should have most of that in here already actually. Wood, rotten flesh, nitrate powder is... Somewhere. There it is, just there. And clay soil. Nice. I can make only three, but I haven't really been saving any rotten flesh until basically today. So that should be fine and doable before too long. I need to find a new home for my campfire. Uh, I suppose just there. On that little bit of brickwork there, that'll work for me. It's not the most attractive option, but it's going to do for the moment. In you go. Have all that shit back. Nice. All right, I need to go and put... So what I want to do, kind of similar to what I had... Shit, which balcony had this? Was it Wastelands? I think it was. I think it was actually. But I had the big balcony in the wall hall. Because I could line it like this. Have like the farm pots going up the side like that. And that's where I can grow my... um. Get rid of you so I can actually grow anything. Grow the spuds and my corn. And I suppose it's like chuck some like mushroom spores up on the wall in here somewhere to grow them in the dark. That'll work for me. Get another one of you. So we're going to need another three farm plots on that side. But in the meantime, spuds and well, we'll go corn as well for the moment. Although, actually, I'll put you on that side then and chuck the corn onto that side. So that way, when push comes to shove later, they're already in their right spots. So if that's going to be a planter there, I'm going to need some sheets. No, that's how you spell that. I'm going to need like... Oh, actually... I'm gonna go, was it one, two, three, four, five? Uh, I think I need like nine of you. This is definitely gonna work out for me. I'm gonna try it anyway, because I'm gonna need you. Oh, actually. Because I wanna put the railings on the end over here, but if I put them on the outside, I can run. What I want to try and do is put some like railings up there behind it. I think it might look kind of cool. Well, I misclicked, but <laughs> apparently now we're going like that. Go like you across to there. One, two, three. You need to get rid of that one over that side so it frees up the space on this side too. I just... Oh, I just don't know. I just don't know how it's going to look on the front though. Like putting a nice border behind the plant seems like a good idea. But then on the front here... Is that going to look silly? I feel like it might look silly. I feel like I might have done this sillily. I don't know. In fact, nah. You know what? Just, just bloody nah. I'm going to get rid of you. 
Thank you. All the way along. Get rid of all of this. Oh, okay. That does the trick too. And just use the planters as my, um, as my barrier out here. But at least now I do have a lovely little balcony out here to enjoy my coffees and or frothies, depending on the time of day. All you're going to need now is a door. Make sure that no stiff breezes come on in or ruin the vibe in my little crap shack over here. Stick it out like that. Perfect. Bloody perfect. Well, we have to break it in. Do I have any froths? I do have a froth. Let's go like that. Quickly duck off our pants and our armor. Sit out on the balcony. Cheers, Trady Bob. It's a decent view. So I'm going to have to look at you. If only it was Trader Gen, then that would be a, a definitely a view worthy of the balcony. Froth is in. Doors closed. Happy days. So I think that's going to just about do it. I'll close that door. We're all nice and sitting pretty in here. Although I did bring home. Yes, that one and that one. Quickly put some fuel into you. There you go. And make myself a bunch of bacon and eggs. It's another six, but that's why I got the egg. That's why I was so desperate for them. Nice. Okay, so I think we're pretty much good to go. So tomorrow, what's the plan? I have to go and turn... In fact, first thing in the morning, before trade is open, I'll run over and I'll do the cement because by then, my knee should have healed. So I'll do that one. Then I'll duck on back, hand in both the quests... And then what? It's gonna- well, it's, oh shit, it's day 13. So I guess then we'll do like the last of the quests tomorrow, and then day 14 will be like horde prep and fighting the horde. But at least I have the fire station up and going, so it should be relatively easy to fight them. Fingers crossed. Gonna make sure I get over there and clear out the zombies ahead of time as well. But I'll have to do all those things in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.